Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Carolyn. Before we get started, I just want to let you know that this video might be a little bit odd because if you notice, um, my voice doesn't match the video because when I was shooting this video, the mic was not on, so therefore now I need to create this voiceover. So I hope this doesn't bother you. Um, anyway, you'll be practicing and not really looking at me too much anyway, so here we go. <laughs> All right, so today we're gonna start on all fours, coming onto our hands and our knees into this tabletop position. Make sure that the wrists are directly under the shoulders and the knees are under the hips. We'll start with a few cat cows here. So as you inhale, start to arch your spine, let your belly drop down, tailbone pointing up, look up. And then as you exhale, round the back, squeeze in the belly, tuck in your chin. Again, let's inhale, arch the back, let your chest open forward, look up, and then exhale, rounding the back for your cat pose, squeezing in the tummy, look at the tummy. One more time, inhaling, add a little bit more of this back bend as you arch. Exhale, round the back, push the floor with your hands, tuck the chin. All right, come to a flat back, and then just walk your hands forward one tiny step. Open all 10 fingers wide. Curl the toes onto the ground, lift your knees, and then send your hips back downward facing dog. Go ahead and take any movement here that feels good. You can bend your knees one at a time if you wish. Maybe pedal out the feet. You can even move your hips side to side if that feels good for you. All right, any movement that feels nice here for this first down dog. Okay, we'll slow the movements down here and breathe. Let's lift the heels, look forward, and walk to the front of your mat. Take an inhale, look forward, halfway lift, long spine. And then exhale, fold the chest down into the legs. We will do that two more times. Inhale, look forward, halfway lift. Exhaling, fold it in. Let's do one more like that. Inhale, look forward, halfway lift. And exhale, fold it in. Next inhale, come all the way to standing and reach your arms to the sky. Look towards your hands. Exhale, relax your arms by the sides. Okay, again, inhaling, reaching the arms up, look up. Exhale, fold forward, bring the hands towards the ground. Inhale, look forward, halfway lift. Exhale, hands on the floor, walk back to plank, bend your elbows, chaturanga. Now inhaling, lift the chest, come to your upward facing dog, press the backs of your feet into the ground, lift the chest. And exhale, we're coming to downward facing dog. Send your hips back, take a nice deep breath. All right, next inhale, go ahead and lift your heels again. Look forward, this time you can walk or hop to the front of your mat. Inhale, look forward, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, chest into the legs. Next inhale, we're standing, arms reaching up, look up. Exhale, arms relax by the sides. Okay, now next inhale, we're gonna bend the knees and reach the arms up, coming into chair pose, Utkatasana. Press down through the heels and sit a little lower into your hips. Take an inhale. Exhale, fold forward, hands down. Inhale, look forward, halfway lift, long spine. And exhale, you can walk or maybe jump back into your Chaturanga, elbows bend. Inhale, we lift the chest, upward facing. Exhale, we're in downward facing dog. All right, now on the next inhale, reach your right leg up towards the sky for a three-legged dog. Keep that leg straight and strong, lift your left heel. Now exhale, bring your right knee forward, in towards your nose, round the back, squeeze in the tummy. Flex the right foot, gently step it up in between your hands. Now push your left hand into the mat, turn your chest to the right, and inhale, reach your right arm up to the sky. Okay, allow your chest to turn to the right even more. Keep your left leg straight and lift that left hip a bit. Prevent that left hip from sinking too much so that the twist is coming from the torso. 
Open your chest up a little more, take an inhale. Exhale, bring your right hand to the mat, step back to plank, and bend your elbows for Chaturanga. Inhale, lift your chest, upward facing dog. Exhale to downward facing dog. We will get ready for the other leg. Take an inhale, reach that left leg up towards the sky. Hold it there. Lift your right heel as high up as you can. Now exhale, left knee forward to your nose, squeeze in the belly, and then step that left foot up in between your hands. Push your right hand down into your mat, turn your chest to the left, and that left arm, reach it up towards the sky. Look to your left hand, breathe. Again, I wanna keep my back leg engaged, thigh is strong, and the hip a bit lifted so that I'm not dropping down into the hips. But instead, I'm twisting from the torso. Open the chest a little bit more if you can. Breathe. Exhale, hands down, step back, bend your elbows, chaturanga. Inhale, let's lift the chest for upward facing dog. Exhale, we're coming into downward facing dog. Take a nice deep breath here. All right, lift your heels, look forward, walk or hop gently to the front of your mat. Take an inhale, look forward, a halfway lift. Exhale, folding chest into the legs. On your next inhale, bend your knees and reach the arms up, coming back into chair pose, Utkatasana. Sit a little lower, reach a little higher. Now bring your hands to your heart, turn your chest to the left. Hook your right elbow outside of the left leg, coming into a twisting chair. Okay, keep pressing down through your right arm. Allow the center of your chest to lift to where your thumbs meet and look up at the sky. Breathe. Come back to center, reach your arms up. Exhale, turn to the right. Press your left elbow into the outer part of the right leg, twisting. Continue to sit low and let the middle of your chest go towards your thumbs. Inhale back to center, arms up, knees stay bent. Exhale, fold forward, hands down. Inhale, look forward, halfway lift. Exhale, walk or jump back into your chaturanga, elbows bending. Inhaling, lift the chest to upward facing dog. And exhale, we're back in downward facing dog. Take a nice deep breath. All right, take an inhale, stretch your right leg up towards the sky, lift your left heel. Exhale, right knee forward towards the nose. Step the right foot up in between the hands. Okay, now from here, keep that back heel lifted. Reach both your arms up to the sky for high lunge. Keep your right knee bending, left leg straight. Draw the belly in, reach higher through your arms. Inhale. Now exhale, bring your hands to your heart. Twist to the right and hook your left elbow outside of the right leg. Again, we are getting deep into this twist. Pressing the left arm down, chest turning to the right. Breathe. Keep your legs strong, especially the left leg, that left thigh. Next exhale, put your hands on the floor. Step your left foot to the front of the mat. Okay, and then from here, we're gonna set up for Bakasana Crow Pose. Place your hands on the mat, shoulders distance apart. Okay, bend the elbow slightly and bring your knees into the back of your arms towards your armpits. Shift your weight forward and take one or both of your feet off of the mat. Keep your hips lifted, hold three, two, one. When you're ready, you can walk or jump back into your chaturanga and inhale, chest lifting, upward facing dog. Exhale to downward facing dog. Take a deep breath. And inhaling, let's go ahead and stretch the left leg up and back up towards the sky. Lift the right heel as high up as you can. Exhale, bring your left knee to your nose, gently stepping the left foot up in between the hands. Inhaling, the arms reach up into that high lunge position. Again, keep the back heel lifted. Right thigh is strong. Draw your belly in and reach a little higher. Take an inhale. And then exhale, hands to your heart. We're gonna turn to the left, hook your right elbow outside of the left leg. Press into that leg as you deepen your twist. Again, I wanna make sure that the right thigh stays strong. So 
so that my legs are stable. Focus on your breath. Exhale, hands down. All right, step your right foot forward. Fold, inhale, look forward, halfway lift. Exhale, fold again. Okay, getting ready for the second time of Bakasana Crow Pose. Hands on your mat. Bring the knees behind your arms towards the armpit. Shift forward, bring one or two feet off the ground. Hold for three. If you can, hold it two. And one, let's walk or jump back to Chaturanga. Bend your elbows. Inhale, lift the chest to upward facing. And as you exhale, we're in downward facing dog. Take a deep breath. Okay, we're gonna get ready to sit down here. So let's go ahead, when you're ready, lift the heels, look forward. You can walk or jump, cross your ankles and have a seat, pull the feet through. Okay, we're gonna do some seated twisting. So I'm gonna start by keeping my right leg straight. Bend your left knee and step your left foot outside of the right knee. Okay, the right arm is gonna hug the left leg and the left fingertips come onto the mat behind me. I want to lift up through my chest and then I turn back, look back and twist. I will offer a couple more options for you here. I can also hook my right arm outside of the left leg to deepen that twist as I press into the leg. Or if I want to get even deeper, I'll take a bind. First by bringing my upper body in towards that left thigh and then sliding my right hand in between the space between my calf and my hamstring. Both arms behind me connect. And then I look back. I'm breathing in and out through my nose. Just a little longer, almost done. All right, exhale, come back. Release, undo your legs. And now changing sides. Step your right foot outside of the left knee and hug your right leg with your left arm. Right fingertips come behind you and then turn back. Again, I can press my elbow into the outside of my right leg or take that bind by bringing the hand in between that little space behind my calf. If the hands connect, then go ahead and continue to lift your chest, look back and twist. Focus on your breath. With every inhale, try to create more length through your spine by lifting the chest. And every exhale, see if there's more room to twist. Breathe in and out through your nose, almost done here. Okay, let's come back to center. Undo your arms, undo your legs. All right, now come into a squat so that the feet are on the ground and the legs stick together. All right, I'm gonna get ready for a side crow posture. And we did the crow earlier to help warm up for this arm balancing pose, okay? So we're gonna start by bringing the hands to the left side of the yoga mat. Oh, a dog just ran through. Okay, hands on the mat. Bring the outer part of your left leg up towards your right armpit. And keep that leg glued to your right arm. Okay, now start to bring the weight into your hands, bend your elbows, shift your weight forward and allow the feet to get lighter and maybe they'll come off the ground today. Okay, stay here for a few more deep breaths if you have the balance. If not, then you can try again. Okay, and I also have a specific tutorial video just on this posture. So I'll put a link up here. If you wanna take a look later, you can check it out. All right, let's change sides. So now I'm gonna turn my hands to the other side. And same thing, I'm bending my elbows bring the outside of my leg up towards my armpit. As I shift my weight forward, the feet might or might not come off the ground. All right, if you've got the pose, try to hold for a couple or a few more breaths. 
Okay, when you're done with that, go ahead and release. Okay, so we're gonna start to wind down our practice. Go ahead and lie down on your mat with your back on the mat and we'll do my favorite wrist massage. So bend your knees, feet on the ground. Lift your hips a little bit so that you can slide your hands underneath your hips. Now sit onto your hands, sit onto your wrist and gently move your knees side to side like windshield wipers. Massaging your hands, massaging your wrist. It's a nice thing to do after a little bit of arm balancing practice. Okay, let's release the hands out from underneath us. We keep the knees bent and inhale, lift your hips as high as you can. Interlace the hands underneath you. Tuck your shoulders into the center and lift your hips and chest a bit higher coming into our bridge posture. Breathe in and out through your nose. Take a nice deep inhale. Now exhale, release the hands from underneath you and bring your back down onto the mat. Hug your knees into your chest and move side to side very gently. And right, bring your knees back to center. Hold the outer edges of your feet, getting ready for happy baby pose. Knees and feet nice and wide, pull down on your feet. And if you'd like, you can rock your baby side to side. Getting into the hips, massaging into that lower back. All right, hug your knees into your chest again. And this time we're gonna squeeze the whole body into a tiny ball, squeezing every muscle in your body. Take a big inhale and exhale, release, relax, and come into Shavasana, our final resting pose. Okay, if you have a few minutes, try to lie here completely relaxed, allowing your mind to stay quiet, allowing your breath to return to its most natural way of breathing, allowing your mind to be completely empty of thoughts. I'm gonna leave you here in your Shavasana. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, wherever you're at. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you next time.